Oh my goodness. <laughs> You will not believe how tough it has been to film this video, okay? I filmed it on my camera and then it just disappeared. And half of the video is not filmed on my camera, it's filmed on my phone because other things happen. I don't know what's going on, maybe I'm just super bad luck. So, anyway, in the middle of the video, I'll have a little mini breakdown. You'll see it where I'm in my bedroom complaining about my camera. But now, um, when, I was, when I was editing this video, I realized that the intro to my video that I film is gone so and not only the intro the first half of my video is gone so here it is again um I'm at my parents house outside filming this on my just my phone on my phone this is this is where we live the entire country doesn't look like that that's just where I live I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be talking about the books I'm, I'm currently reading the first one is and that I'm in the middle of my Harry Potter reread and the next book I'm picking up is The Goblet of Fire from my previous read, Goblet of Fire was my favorite, but I think this time around, Prisoner of Azkaban is really good. It's such a good book. I think it might be my favorite one, but we'll see. I'm not getting a favorite. Then I'm also reading The Fifth Risk by Michael Lewis. It's a book. No, it's honestly very difficult for me to explain. It's nonfiction, and it's about the DO, the Department of Energy, the DOE, and what happened after Trump's inauguration, or after the new, not government, the new. I don't know. Is it called the new government? Um, of a new office took place, whatever, took over. Um, I've been reading it for like a month already. I'm reading it very slow because while it's a good book and it explains the concept very easily, especially for someone who isn't into that subject specifically, I can still tell what's going on. Um, but it's a good book. Um, but I'm reading it so slow because it's, it's difficult to get through. The next one I'm reading is Sadie. By Courtney Summers. I'm reading it for the Atlas Book Club by Mackenzie Lane, or like she hosts the book club. I was really excited to read it because um, you get to vote for a book, and I voted for Sadie, so I was really happy when it won. But I'm like, I don't know, I'm not finding it too interesting. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I haven't gotten to the cool parts. Like, I do think it's very sad. It is a sad book. I think it's not a happy book. Um, but I'm just, I'm not as intrigued as I thought I would be, or as I think I should be not am i dumb noise a lot has changed right now the angle has changed the quality has changed i'm guessing the sound has changed i'm also guessing the reason for this is that my camera's battery died because who's a newbie and doesn't know what they're doing oops girl anyway let's get into the next video i'm reading which is um song of the keys by madeleine miller i have no idea what this book is about I went into it completely blind, <laughs> so so I have no idea what it's about. I don't know anything about mythology because because I'm like song of the keys, you know, and you know people call this thing on your like leg, like this thing. It's like your Achilles heel and it's your weakness. I know that much. Um, <laughs> that's all I know. So I was very interested in getting to the book and see what it's about, and it's okay so far. I'm liking it. The characters I feel are very. Um, I feel like I can't say they're fleshed out yet because I'm not far enough into the book but I do feel like each, each character has their own personality and I can tell them apart um, especially when it comes to our main character and then also Achilles I don't think he's the... sorry I puffed <sighs> um, Achilles isn't the main character so far <laughs> sorry my might revolve around him <laughs> but yeah I like the characters and I do like the atmosphere of the book it is very like majestic it's majestic the last book I'm reading is the one I'm most excited about. <laughs> well, it's not like it's a happy book. It's, it's quite the opposite. But that is um, Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Ngozi Adishi. Now, I am a fan of her work. I haven't read a lot of her books. <laughs> I've read a few of her books. I read The um, the Ichivela, You Should All Be Feminists, um, The Thing Around Your Neck, which is a collection of short stories. But um, this one is like the first novel I'm reading by her, so I haven't read like the thing around in um, Half of a Yellow Sun and um, Americana. Anyway, so yeah, Purple Hibiscus. It's about this 15-year-old girl in Nigeria. Um, so far, most of Chimamanda's work is set in Nigeria because it's where she's from. And it's, I'm really enjoying reading about it. Because even, even though 
I think there's this misconception that all Africa is the same, but like I live in Southern Africa, not South Africa, I just live in Southern Africa, um, because I live in Namibia, and it's already so much different to Nigeria, which is um, not Northern Nigeria, but it's more North, and yeah, it's very interesting just to see the cultural differences. Anyway, Pope Hibiscus is about the 15-year-old girl with quite a religious father, and then it's during the time there's a coup there's a military coup in nigeria and then she goes to her aunt's house um it's not so much about the plot that um than it is about the characters so there isn't much that i can say oh this is what the book is about like you know <laughs> sars uh, maybe if i finish it i'll be able to give a proper description of what it's about but that's what it's about so far um and i am really enjoying it i like i really really like the writing chimamanda's writing is just amazing and i love the characters and I love the portrayal of religion in this book. I like the main character's father. He's quite like he's like scarily religious. Like he would beat his family, you know, because he's like, you guys are bringing the devil into this house if they eat less than an hour before they go to church. Now I didn't know that was a Catholic thing. Apparently it is, but still, he's beating his family. He's beating his family. But then you get um the our main character. Her name is Kambili. Her aunt. Is also very religious but she's like not a bad character she doesn't beat her family she laughs okay Kambili almost doesn't know what it's like to laugh because she doesn't live with that she's not used to that and it's hard to read it definitely is hard to read and also you feel quite sorry for Kambili because this is all she knows this is what she's used to this abuse that she receives from her father is is what she thinks is normal but then she goes to her aunt's house and she's like but wait these people laugh these people can just talk without having to analyze and think about what you're saying. Um, these people can do things, you know, these people don't live by a strict schedule, which is also her father gives her a strict schedule. This is when you can sleep, this is when you can eat, this is when you can, this is when you must pray, this is when you go to bed. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's a very good book. It's well written. I love the characters. The characters are very well developed. You can just, you know, who's talking without being told. I don't know if that makes sense, but each character talks in their own unique way. Um, and it's just, I love, I love books written, <laughs> patriotic, but I love books written in Africa or written about where the setting is in Africa. I like, I like books that take place in Africa because it's just so diverse and I really, really love it because each African country is just its own thing. So yeah, I know I've talked about this book the longest, but it is the book that I'm genuinely enjoying the most at the moment. Harry Potter doesn't count because I'm in the, in the reread, so she don't count. And I'm also not in the book right now. I'm in the middle of the series. But thank you for watching. I'm okay for all these books. I'm gonna put them up here when I watch a video, and I'm interested in a book that someone is talking about. I screenshot it because I, I watch all the videos on my phone. Um, so I screenshot it and they're like having a book in their hand and they're like waving it around and I'm like I can't screenshot it, hold the book still so I feel like if I hold the book here you can just screenshot it I know I'm not yet very good at this, I'm still learning a lot um, I have a, lot, um, a few video ideas that I would really like to do um, so that might be my next videos <laughs> but also I have to say y'all thank you for the people giving really positive comments it's very nice and it's very feels like I'm not an idiot for doing this because it still does feel like I'm a bit of an idiot um I know I am a noob I almost said I'm a moob but I'm not a man boob if anything I'm just a boob just one giant big boob just I'm a boob I'm just giant boob I should stop I should stop anyway thank you very much for watching this video if you did like it Feel free to subscribe or not you can just like the video or you can just you can do what you want but i appreciate it um and also if you if you if you if you have also a channel if you also have a channel please comment below because your girl is looking for new videos to watch i'm looking for new videos to watch on your channels not that i'm looking for new channels i'm just also looking for people starting out because you know you can be like you're not a long girl and you can be like Let's bump it out on the internet because people need internet friends, okay? I'm sick of people talking about internet friends and I don't have any internet friends, okay?
Is this angle working for you? <laughs> okay, no. Thanks for watching this video. And like I said, please comment and subscribe and let me know if you have a channel. Even if you don't, just be like, what's up, girl? What's up, girl? Come be like, what's up with you? And if you have any questions, just leave it below. I'm just babbling now because I don't, I just, I'm enjoying making those videos. Okay, bye. I love you. Probably unless you're a bad person, but I probably love you. Mm, okay, so this hot mess of a video, but you know what? I'm so glad I did it, so. Um, thank you for watching. I'm sorry about it being all over the place. Um, and I'm just, but I'm glad you're here. Thank you. <laughs>